Hello. Welcome back to Any Fit Over 40. I tried to throw on a different shirt because I feel like I am in sports bras every time I get on here and do a vlog. So, um, I'm a huge Star Wars nut. If you don't know, I think all of my pink tops and <laughs> t-shirts are Star Wars. Look how cute this one is. It is Darth Vader walking one of his little minions. So when I go and walk my dogs, I usually wear this shirt because I think it's so funny. So I'm going to walk my pups, my fur babies in a minute, get a little cardio in. I mostly weight lift if you guys want to know. I mostly am a weight lifter. There's a flex for everyone's like, we want to see you flex. There's a, a bicep flex. But um, I get my cardio in too and I walk my baby girls as much as I can in the summer as long as it's not too hot. So there's a little bit about me. But mostly, once I got over 40, whew, man, it was tough um, staying in. I was so, I mean, I have a great metabolism, not going to lie. But once I hit over 40 and wanting to just eat, because I love food, eating the way I want to eat, I was like, ooh, man, I got to do more. And nothing was quite working for me. Um, tried different things. And then... Someone's like, try weightlifting, and I did, and um, it became an addiction. I love it. It works for me, and if you're a girly and you're looking to change things up, start weightlifting. It's great. Um, start slow, move up, but you gotta, if you really want to see results, I recommend, you know, moving up in the weights. Um, I think some girls just get worried they're gonna start looking all, you know, bulky, but just not the way it works, so... You can you can control all that so I mean just normally when I'm like this you know I don't look all muscly but I mean you got if I flex and this is not muscly for me I, this is probably just due to some setbacks going to the gym um, for some health reasons this is probably the least muscly I have been in probably a year and a half or two years so as soon as I get through all my vacations this summer, I am hitting the gym hard again. Hopefully there will be no more setbacks for <laughs> the foreseeable future, and I'll get back on a really good routine. Anyway, back to what we're here for. This is my creator page, so I'm jumping in with a new topic. You know, I take for granted the um, finance side of what I do. That's because, another little tidbit about me, I was in the finance industry for decades. And when I say decades, I literally mean decades. My first job was, I should say my second job, but my first like real job was in a bank. Um, I was only 16 and I got a job as a teller at 16. Um, all I needed was a diploma and I graduated young, so at 16 I had my diploma, my high school diploma, and I got a job as a teller. So when I say, let's see, 16, 26, 36, and I am 46, so there's my age. So three decades of banking in finance, some type of banking, some type of finance. So I literally have decades of experience. I take it for granted that um, it just comes naturally to me what you need to do with um, with your money and with finance stuff. You know, whether that's banking, mortgages, investing, just because within those 30 years, I've done a little bit of everything. <laughs> um, but... I honestly am not seeing a ton of comments yet from creators on here. I hope as this page goes along and I'm doing more creator stuff, I will get some creators in here and I'll see questions. But I belong to a great community of um, creators and I see questions in there and comments. And so I'm kind of feeding off of that and also what I see on uh, YouTube. So I will say one of the very first things I did do once I had some funds rolling in from my OnlyFans page is I definitely, and I will say to do this first thing, because, you know, think positive, think you're going to, um, if you haven't already, you're going to start your page and you're going to earn money. 
<laughs> just you know have positive good energy good vibes going in is start your um start a separate account you're going to want to open a new bank account and you're going to want to keep it separate and you know that it's going to be totally up to you you're going to have to look into what's best for you as far as if you're going to have separate accounts as you know business personal that's going to be something you'll have to look into you might have to consult a tax advisor or that kind of stuff as far as me um, when I started, I just kept it all personal. I just opened it in my personal name and I opened a new bank account. I just wanted to keep it totally separate from my um, personal accounts. I kept it so separate that I even opened it at a new bank. I wanted one that was super easy to use online. For myself personally, um, I chose Capital Cap One. Capital One was just super easy for me to open online. Um, and it was very easy to just the process was super easy. I don't know how other banks are. I know in the past when I've tried, it's like you had to do the signature stuff and doing it online was not easy. So Cap One made it super easy for me to do online and to open secondary accounts was very, very easy. I just never had any issues with them. Now I've had that account for two plus years and it's never had an issue getting the cards. Everything was super easy. So anyway, that's definitely the first thing I would do is start there. Um, just to make sure to keep things very, very separate. Um, I know that will save you a lot of hassle when it comes to um, taxes as well. Um, if you choose to use someone to do your taxes, I'm sure they will appreciate that also. What else? Um, and then <laughs> I would definitely, once you are rolling and going and you see some funds coming in from your only fans or whichever platform you choose to use because there's so many now i would definitely make sure you invest in yourself so whatever platform that is because there are also a ton of platforms online for that um definitely choose to do investing that also can be um something you start small with. Now there's so many that you can just do little bits at a time. So even if you don't have a lot of funds, just make sure to invest in yourself. And I'll go more into that in the, um, maybe in the next one I do. I don't want to keep these real long. So, but I would definitely just start with opening a new bank account, whether it's cap one or you start, if you want to keep it all in one place because it's easier for you, that's fine. Just do what's best for you, but make sure you have a separate account for your funds that are coming in from OnlyFans. Because to become a creator on there, once you get approved, you will have to attach a bank account to your OnlyFans account um, as a creator. Because they need to know where they're going to put the funds. So That's my tidbit of advice on this um, vlog. I hope you have a great day and we will chat soon. Bye guys.